In 2021, the church donated $2 million to the First American Museum in Oklahoma. This donation was specifically for a family search center that would potentially be staffed with LDS missionaries. I myself served my mission in the Family Search Visitor Center that used to exist in Park City, Utah. Concerning this $2 million donation, the prophet Russell M. Nelson said, The gift from the church will strengthen Native American and other families by creating within the museum a family search center. This center will make it possible for visitors to the museum to receive help in preserving personal histories, searching for ancestors, and building their own family trees. However, the museum opened in September of 2021, and there is no family history center. It turns out that the museum returned the $2 million to the church. On their website, they responded as follows. The agreement between the First Americans Museum and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints related to a grant in the amount of $2 million for the creation of the Family History Research Center will be discontinued. FAM will return the grant funds and will suspend plans to develop the center until further notice. We thank the church for their understanding and generosity. FAM values the perspectives of our native constituencies. Thank you to those who voiced concerns in a respectful manner about the project. Hmm, I wonder what those concerns were. Could it be that the church has actively sought to change Native American history? Or that they heavily mistreated the Native Americans in early church history? Could it be the Indian placement program? Is it because the church would seek to proselytize at the museum? Who knows? And if this is indeed a case of problematic history between the church and the Native Americans, I'm proud of them for sticking up for themselves.